I think about two months and yeah but I'm back I'm about to let y'all know how life been treating me cuz life been beating your girl up period it's been beating your girl up so I'm about to let y'all know how life has been treating me and what I have going on why I haven't posted in two months and yeah so if you are a new subscriber hi hello welcome to my channel if you're an old returning subscriber Welcome back girl, welcome back. So yeah, today's video is gonna be a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm not really going anywhere, so it's not really a get ready with me. I'm just talking and doing my makeup basically. So yeah, so yeah, keep on watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, turn on that post notification bell, and let's get to talking. So why I haven't been on YouTube in over two months, and why I haven't posted a real video in over two months is because, well, first, two months ago was what? It's August now, so that was June. Well, I was getting very inconsistent even before then because school. I am a full time college student. I'm entering my junior year of college, so whoop whoop, your girl almost to that finish line but yeah school was starting to stress me out <laughs> beyond words describable like I can't even describe to you how much school was stressing me out around like beginning of May end of April because that was finals week so around that time I also was very inconsistent with posting videos Mind you, I should not be very inconsistent at this point of my YouTube journey because I'm just now getting into the swing of things and starting YouTube. So if anything, I should be very consistent if I want to grow, you know? So, but things happen, life happens, and yeah, I had to take a break because school and YouTube was not, was not working out for me at that time. So that's why I was not posting consistently around May, June-ish. But then I also started summer school in June, the very beginning of June. So I only had a few weeks away from school, you know, in May before school started again for me. So I just was not getting a break, sis. I was not getting a break. Life was just not school was just not giving me a break so yeah school was hitting me back to back and then that was stressing me out my grades grades were not being what they should have been so yeah I was like the best thing for me to do right now is to take a break from YouTube because I was trying to do too much at one time and yeah then another reason why I feel like I've been away from YouTube for the longest because I could not get into the mood of actually wanting to sit down and film a video. Like I actually tried to film this exact video yesterday, but I got in front of the camera, I sat down and I'm just like, do I really feel like filming? Like I could not do it. I just, I couldn't do it. And I'm the type of person, if I don't feel if I don't feel like I'm there mentally enough to sit down and film a video, I'm not gonna do it because you may not hear it in my voice that I'm, you know, annoyed or don't feel like you're on camera, but it will definitely show on my face. It will definitely show on my face. Like, I, my facial expressions will get me in a world of trouble, I swear. Like, that's with anything. Like, I may never say anything and nobody will ever know that something's wrong with me but on my face I may have a whole attitude and that's how you'll know so yeah so I basically just 
can't I couldn't sit down in front of the camera pretending like I was fine, you know, like life wasn't beating your girl up. So I had to just take a break and collect my thoughts, figure things out. I still have to figure things out. School is about to start back up. I'm about to be stressed out again. But hey, life goes on. I had to learn how to balance life. And yeah. Then I've also been trying to start a business business like you know like getting my LLC and starting a business business girl y'all thought my hair caught on fire yeah I've been trying to start an actual business selling accessories lashes like I'm gonna be doing custom necklaces like this one right here. This one right here, this one is gonna be on my business also. And y'all, let me tell y'all how bad life has actually been beating me up. You see I have braids, right? I just cut all my hair off like a week ago, I believe. Yeah, like a week ago. I literally cut all of my hair off. Um, yeah. <laughs> Probably gonna post a picture of it like right here. But I cut all my hair off. Kinda don't like it. It has to grow on me. I've had short hair before, but I was flat ironing it when I did have short hair, so I was styling it in cute styles and stuff. But this time around, I'm trying to not put heat in my hair. That's the whole purpose of me cutting my hair off, is to start it over and grow it healthy. So I'm not putting heat in my hair. So yeah, I've been trying to be comfortable wearing it natural and short, but I'm so used to hair. Like I'm skinny, so like I like to have a head full of hair to add to me and make me look like I have a little bit of weight on me. But you know, being skinny and bald, well not really bald, but <laughs> being skinny with short hair, it just brings out my skinniness and makes me feel even more skinny. So it has to grow on me, okay? It has to grow on me right now I'm not really feeling it I'm trying I swear I'm trying but it's just not working for me so I pop some braids in until it grows a little bit because I feel like I might have cut it too short everybody likes it but I don't really care for it so until it grows on me we just gonna be um, sticking to some protective styles some braids and some sew-ins and some wigs or something because no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am okay i need to prime my eyelids what am i doing what am i doing i'm losing my mind okay Yeah, the chit chat part of this video, <laughs> pretty simple. I really explained all of it already as to why I haven't been posting. But I'm getting it together. I am getting it together. I need to think of some more video ideas because I'm definitely about to get more consistent. That's another reason why I have problems being consistent because it's so hard coming up with video ideas like I want my channel to be different I don't want to do the same exact things like when I first started my channel my channel was really gonna be all about me doing makeup but then I had to think I'm like if I want a, if I want a um, you know my more wide range audience if I want, you know, guys watching my videos also and not just girls, I can't just do makeup on my channel. Like, I have to do other stuff too. So, it's kind of hard coming up with videos that I feel like everybody would like, but not everybody is doing it, if that makes sense. I don't want to do the same thing that everybody on YouTube does. Like, it's okay to keep doing, like, 
you have to do like some of the same like challenges and stuff like that like there's videos going around like the one where it's like um what is it letting the person in front of me choose what i eat so i've been wanting to do that one but i don't know i just haven't gotten around to doing it but yeah so yeah i don't want my channel to be exactly the same that other people are doing i'm trying to be a little different and figure things out but i don't know I don't even know what kind of look I'm doing today. I swear. I have to get it together. I think I'm going to do something pink. Only because I have this pink dress on. So, yeah. I also feel like I've kind of been having a mental breakdown on some stuff. Because of school and my grades and my future and it's just stressing me out like I feel like I live to make my family proud especially by me wanting to go to school to become a doctor and stuff like that my family is very proud of me and they're having high hopes for me and I feel like I'm letting them down only because my grades aren't where they should be. My GPA isn't where it should be. You know, to go straight to medical school after I graduate, I only have two years left of undergrad. I'm trying to knock it down to a year and a half by taking summer classes every summer from here on out. But my grades aren't where they should be yet. So I'm considering a one year master's program after I graduate. That way I can get, you know, a better GPA. And then I also haven't done anything that I need to do to get into medical school. Like, haven't done any shadowing experience, haven't done any community service, haven't done none of that. So, basically, I'm stuck, you know. It's like, and I can't change my major at this point. Like, I'm two years in, so... Changing my major would push me back, like, to the very beginning if I want to change it to something else. So, I'm stuck as a biology major. I feel like I'm getting to that point where I want to give up and not go to medical school and just, like, I have no idea do something else because it's just not going where I need it to go. Okay, and I'm trying my hardest not to give up because that is definitely something I want to do. Like, I want to go to medical school. I want to become a doctor. But, I don't know. I hate being this age. I swear I do. Like, being like, in your, night, like, being like 19, your early 20s, or just in college, period, being a young adult, is very confusing. <laughs> like, you get lost at times with your you know your future and what you're trying to do and you get into these you know these times where you feel like am i doing enough you know am i going hard enough am i grinding hard enough to get to where i need to be and i feel like if you have to ask yourself if you're grinding hard enough or if you're doing everything you need to do then you're probably not you know if you have to question whether or not you are then most likely you're not but it's okay and I feel like I'm the type of person like I'll look at other people like how far they've come you know at this same age as me and I'm like I feel like they're doing way more than me but I've learned that you can't really look at and this isn't just like for a college student this isn't just for anybody my age this is for everybody like people in general, life in general. You can't judge your life off of somebody else's life. Like, if you feel like somebody is doing something, they're doing more than you, that's fine. That's them, that's, you know, that's what they have going on. That's their path, their path just may be moving, you know, faster than yours. But that doesn't mean that you're not doing good enough. You know what I'm saying? So, 
I've had to understand that it's okay to not be, you know, having the same thing going on as everybody else. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine for me to be, you know, maybe moving a little bit slower than others are. What am I looking for? Lord help me. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna, if I wanna do a cut crease or what. I think I am gonna do a cut crease because those are my fave. If you know me, you know cut creases are my fave. But yeah, so basically, I just have to understand that it's perfectly fine for me to not be on the same path as everybody else. And I just have to accept that this is my life, this is my path, this is my journey. And yeah. It's okay if things may take a little bit longer. Like if I end up, you know, graduating a semester later, that's perfectly fine. As long as I'm not in school till I'm 26. And that would be a problem if I was an undergrad that long. But you know, things take time. This is your life, you live it, nobody else does. You don't live to make anybody else happy but yourself. So that's all I have to learn. Like yeah, I wanna make my family happy too. But at the end of the day, if I woke up one morning and I said, I did not want to go to medical school anymore. No Being a doctor was not for me anymore. You know, that would be perfectly fine because this is my life. You know, when my family is gone, the Lord rebuke that in the name of Jesus. But if something was happened to my mom today or tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll be living this life, not her, not anybody else in my family. I will be living this life. I'm still on this earth living this life. So at the end of the day, I have to do what makes me happy and what doesn't cause me to lose my mind okay like because at this point I feel like I am losing my sanity with being a biology major I am losing my sanity I love it and I hate it I really have a love hate relationship for my major but I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna try to stick with it because I don't want to give up. I'm not trying to be a quitter. It's not what we are over here. We're not quitters. So at this point, it's gonna take a lot for me to say I don't want to do it anymore. And right now, I'm not at that point, but I am at the point where I'm like, is this for me? I wake up every day questioning whether or not I made the right decision. And I also feel like me waking up with that mindset also has something to do with where I go to school at. Because I kind of don't want to be here anymore. Like, I'm honestly not happy with the college decision that I chose. But in the moment when I chose it, that was the one for me, you know? But now I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't think I made the right decision. I don't think I made the right decision with choosing my college that I am currently at. Like every day I wake up, I say, if I can go back Y'all, I'm losing my mind. I didn't even put an eyeshadow on my freaking eyelids and I'm putting on eye eyeliner. Help me, Lord. Help me. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. My life is all over the place. It's just all over the place. But, yeah, I, um... I feel like I should have chose a different school, but it's kind of too late for that. 
can always go to. I mean, I could transfer if I wanted to, but me trying to transfer somewhere else, make new friends all over again, it's just, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I feel like when I was younger, making friends used to be so easy for me. Like, I used to be able to make friends so easily. Now that I'm older, <sighs> making friends is a challenge. It's a challenge, it's a challenge. And I feel like it's because, you know, as you get older, as you get older, you realize how fake and cruel people can be, you know, so. I feel like that has a lot to do with why it's hard for me to make friends now because I feel like everybody's like out to get me or something or like everybody is fake or somebody everybody's gonna eventually show their true colors and then I'm gonna be hurt okay so that's why I feel like it takes me a minute to make friends these days like I'm very nice so like people attract themselves to me like I have a lot of people that you know come to me like oh let's be friends da, da, da. but in reality it's just like can I trust you as a friend you know like because I don't need any more fake friends coming into my life just I don't know I can't And I also recently just got a new foundation. Well, I didn't buy the foundation. I got a sample from Sephora. Y'all, I am going back and buy this foundation because I've been putting it on and I promise you, it is wonderful. It's the Smashbox Full Cover Foundation in the shade 4.15. And I love it. It's so full coverage. Like, if you want to just walk outside with this foundation on with no, you know, concealer on top of it, like nothing, none of that stuff, you can do so. Because, and this is my last use. I'm about to get out of it. Oh, I'm going to have to go to Sephora and get another sample because it's, my pocket's not going to allow me to buy this right now. But, yes, like just watch how pretty it ends up being. There, I had to zoom y'all in because y'all got to see this, this foundation. It does dry quick. So like you have to work with it fast. That's the only thing, but it's also a good thing because you know it's gonna stay on your face. And I haven't had problems with it getting like super oily either throughout the day. So this is my third time using it, so I haven't had that really happen to me that much. Like it gets a little bit oily, but that's just, that's because I have super oily skin. Like my skin is super oily. So, but lately I have been having like dry skin issues for some odd reason. Like I've never had that happen to me. And I do use tea tree oil and witch hazel on my face in my skincare routine. So I feel like that has something to do with it. But I've been using witch hazel and tea tree oil for like two years now or like a year now. So I've never had that problem until now. So I'm trying to figure out what's the problem, sis? What's the problem? Like, why are you switching up on me now? 
like I recently had like a super dry patch on my face and I had to stop using my tea tree oil on witch hazel because of that like I don't know what was going on it was like my whole face was just peeling away and I'm just like oh no oh no like I complain about having oily skin but I think I'd rather have oily skin than dry skin because at least when you have oily skin, you know, your face look dewy and healthy and all that good stuff. But when you have dry skin and your skin just peeling, like you shedding some skin, like, like a freaking snake or something, like, that's not cute. And especially when you put makeup on top of it, it doesn't make it any better. It just, it looks terrible. So... Yeah, I've been having some little dry spells with my skin and I'm not liking it. It's starting to get better though. And then when I went on my vacation, I got sunburnt really bad on my face. So like I couldn't even wear makeup because I was in the Bahamas and it's hot. Okay, like the heat wasn't that much different from home. I'm from New Orleans, so like Louisiana heat is definitely a bit much and then I go to school in Mississippi so that heat is about the same you know down south heat is very hot so it wasn't any different I don't know what's going on with my forehead and why am I going to sit on that stick um yeah that heat wasn't any different but for some reason I sunburnt really bad and I never had that problem before and I bought sunscreen with me on the trip but one day I forgot to put it on my face I put it on my entire body but forgot to put it on my face and this whole like my nose was black like have you ever seen somebody who's gotten frostbite or something like that that's exactly what my nose looked like it was it was not cute but yeah I had really bad sunburn on my nose area. Like my forehead was peeling really bad. It was just not cute at all. Like not cute. So I just had too much going on. I was like, oh no, oh no ma'am. My face was just not having it I'm honestly so ready for these braids to come out like I just put these braids in my hair like a week ago yeah I think about a week ago and I'm already annoyed like I wish I could stand up and show y'all how long I made the braids. The braids, I'll post a picture right here, but the braids are like 50 inches long and down to my kneecaps. So it's just, they're starting to get in the way and I go to the bathroom, they almost in the toilet. Like I done just about had it with these braids. I about had it. So I'll definitely be taking them out soon because I don't think
So yeah, y'all, this is the end look. I hope you guys got a gist as to why I have not been posting, you know, what's been going on in my life, life update, all that whoop de boo And yeah, so I hope you like this video. Hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you guys have a great day, great summer, life is good, enjoy life, you know, all that good stuff. So like, comment, and subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, and yeah, I will be back with more videos. I promise to be more consistent, okay? Don't drag me in the comments. Don't drag me. Don't drag me. Please don't drag me. So yeah, I will be back with more videos, and yeah. So yeah, I love you guys, and thank you for supporting me, the people who are subscribed, and on this beginning of my YouTube journey, and yeah, so... And let's get it popping you know let's grow help me grow tell your friends tell your mom whoever okay tell them look subscribe to our channel she's the bomb she's good so yeah but thank you guys love you guys and i will be back with more videos peace i don't love play no games play no games fuck around give you my last